Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are getting started with the Google Developer Console. Our first step is going to be to build an actions project at the console. So join me at the URL console.actions.google.com. Here we are at Actions on Google, a platform for developers to extend the Google Assistant. You can join this emerging ecosystem by developing actions to engage users on Google Home, Pixels, and other services where Google Assistant is available. You can reference the documentation for integrating with Google Assistant. Here we have different ways to build and some suggestions for projects and games and connecting smart home devices. We also have sample code that you can visit as well. Some samples on GitHub for integrating with Google Assistant. We have an API reference as well where you can read exactly what different tools mean and you can visit support where you can ask questions about your project. Okay, our step is going to be to create a new project or a new actions project. So we click this button, new project, and then we can enter in a name for the project, such as my home project, and choose your language and your country or region. Then hit create project. You'll be prompted to select the kind of action. So you have different categories like smart home to let users control your smart home devices with Google Assistant and the Google Home app. Food ordering to integrate your food ordering flow with Google Search, Maps, and Google Assistant. Game to build a trivia game or a multiplayer gaming experience. Custom or storytelling to build narratives and education build immersive educational experiences. So for our course, we are learning all about the smart home. So select a smart home as the kind of action. This is the category for the type of experience we want to build for the Google Assistant. Then you can hit start building and wait a moment for the project to be created specifically for the smart home type. Then you'll be redirected to a different URL, still at console.actions.google.com, but this time you're actually at your project. So here you can manage your actions. We have some steps naming our smart home action and set up account linking, which we can do to complete the creation of the action, and we'll do that shortly. First, let's take a look at what else is available on our project page. So once you create a project, the project will have a project page and you can go to overview to see the overview of the project. So first you have to do your quick setup, which we will do, then you will build your action and you can test it out in the simulator. And then you can get ready for deployment. And finally, you can have a release, right? So these are the steps in general for managing a new smart home project. You also have a develop tab where you can get started with development of the project, a test tab where you can run tests using a simulator, a deploy tab here you can get started with deploying your project and an analytics tab where you can view analytics for your action. How many times has it been used, for example? All right, so that does it for now. We have built a new actions project on the Google Developer Console. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.